David Pakman was answering some viewer questions, and he got an interesting one on conspiracies. Last question today is from Sophia. Sophia said, hey, what conspiracy theories are you guys still surprised that some people really believe? The moon landing one is pretty high on my list, the idea that that was staged. That's one that comes to mind. Vaccines cause autism is one that has been so thoroughly debunked that that one comes to mind. What about you? The Paul, the Paul McCartney died thing is, is another one. Contrails is a big one for me. That yeah. one, uh, and of course, the picture we put up, the 9-11 the thing, although uh, for some reason, what, what makes um, a conspiracy theory more... I don't know, more prolific than others. Uh, the 9-11 one is not going anywhere. It's also more recent, though. You know, I think that that's another factor. It's more recent than JFK or whatever else. On 9-11, it's clearly not an inside job. It's not a conspiracy. Building 7 was fucking bizarre, though, and I think everybody can acknowledge that. It didn't get hit with a plane, and it eventually went down. So, you know, there are many bizarre occurrences that happened on 9-11 that, honestly, the official report doesn't adequately address that makes many, many reasonable people go, okay, that's weird. Now, again, that doesn't mean you make the giant leap of logic to, well, the government planned it all, that's what happened. No, that's ridiculous. But it does mean that the people who try to just shut down all discussion and act like they have all the answers they're kind of equally ridiculous. Or maybe not equally ridiculous, but they're also being ridiculous. Which gets to my broader point on conspiracies, which is... Okay, some of them are real, and some of them are not at all real, and they're ridiculous and preposterous. Uh, and we should acknowledge that. But I feel like people, oftentimes they fall into two camps. One is like, you know, every conspiracy ever is real, okay? It just is what it is. And the other camp is, they're all not real. No, you have to look uh, at each individual case and judge it on its own merits and on the evidence. So, for example, what are some real ones? The Tuskegee experiments. That happened. Bay of Pigs. That happened. Operation Northwoods. That happened. So, obviously, many conspiracies are real. There's some that I still have a question mark in my mind as to what went down. JFK, for example. So, th there are some that are up in the air. But then there are also ones that, okay... No, <laughs> not at all. And it, he, David hit on some of them there. I mean, one of them, the moon landing, shut the fuck up. Uh, another one is every single one that develops immediately after a mass shooting. Oh, man, Sandy Hook, I swear, in the same week, they were like, we, look, we have a 40-minute video now that proves it's all conspiracy. Oh, stop. There, we've covered stories on the same day after some attacks. You had Alex Jones go out there and call it a false flag. The same day. How do you know? It just fucking happened. It just happened. So, to me, those are the most egregious. The ones where after every single giant mass shooting, people go, oh, conspiracy, the government to come take away your guns. Okay, but you morons, they're not even proposing that. <laughs> like, they make it seem like it's obvious they're coming to take the guns. But even on the strictest, most rigid proposals from the Democrats, all they called for is an assault weapons ban, uh, a ban on high-capacity magazines, uh, and universal background checks. That's as far as their proposals go. They have the- you can look at what their proposals are. None of them ever propose we're gonna take all guns. Nor can you with the Second Amendment. So, you say, like, oh, this is part of the conspiracy to take the guns. Well, they haven't done it. And even their proposals went nowhere near that far. So all the conspiracies based on that are total horseshit. Complete and utter horseshit. We couldn't even get a watered-down background check bill passed. And these guys think Obama's gonna go around and take over 300 million guns in circulation? It is beyond ridiculous. So yes, yeah, some we should all just laugh at and mock and shame because they deserve it. Others are real and some are kind of up in the air. But overall, it was a fascinating conversation that they're having on conspiracies.